Now in this video, we're gonna look at creating box plots um, using the same data that we did for creating histograms. Uh, when we're doing comparisons of data, a uh, box plot is probably more traditional than uh, doing comparative histograms the way that we did in the last uh, video. So we're gonna look at, again, how to create these graphs. We're gonna use the box plot option and then we'll also look at it for the graph builder option. Box plots like histograms are meant to be done on numerical data. And so again, the children, uh, we could do it. There's lots of data. And so you could make a box plot of that. Um, but salary, again, is more typical. It's more continuous. There's more separate values. And so we want to take advantage of that. Again, we're going to choose the simple box plot to do through the regular graphing option. But you do have other options that you can do this way. Again, if you know the kind of graph that you want, then this option works perfectly fine. Um, but I find it best for simple cases. We're gonna plot the salary. And again, just look through the options. Uh, we're definitely going to need to use labels, um, but the scale here, these are for adjusting your axes. Um, the labels, we're gonna say a box plot of salary. Um, now, uh, the data labels, again, you have the option for none. Um, you can plot outliers. Uh, I would recommend that. Um, you can also do individual data, medians, the means. Um, you can label specific things on your box plot. So there are some options here. I'm going to put in the outliers um, so that we can see what those outliers look like. Um, again, data view. What do you include? Um, so median confidence interval box, interquartile range box, that's standard. Um, outlier symbols, that's also somewhat standard. Um, median symbol, uh, median connect line, mean symbol. I'm going to add the mean symbol. Um, that way you, you can visually compare um, the position of the mean relative to the median. Uh, in Excel, the mean symbol is always included. And so that is something that can be useful in terms of determining, uh, not just from the whiskers, but from the mean location relative to the median, whether your data set might possibly be skewed. Uh, we looked at multiple graphs. Uh, we're going to save those for the graph builder option. And then Data options, again, if you need to exclude certain parts of data or things like that, uh, or only include certain rows, then this is where you would change those up. And then finally, we're just, when we're ready, we're going to hit OK. And so here is our box plot of salary. We have one outlier that's been labeled. The mean and the median um, look like they plotted right on top of each other, which is pretty good. That means it's relatively symmetric. So that's our basic box plot. Notice in mini tab, they don't do the uh, little sort of ticks at the end of the bars uh, of the whiskers. That's fine. Uh, that doesn't change the meaning of the graph um, at all, but it's just the style thing. Okay, so now that we've made a simple box plot, what we'd like to then do is now do a comparative box plot. So what if I broke the salary out by, let's say, age, as we did in the histogram case, or by opinion, um, or we could even do it by the number of children. But let's go then to the graph builder option. And we're going to select a box plot. And since I've already selected salary previously and age previously, um, those are the defaults that are already in here. And so you can see in this example, they are doing the bottom of the whisker plot, uh, which is interesting why they do it here and not on the other one. I don't know. Um, but each of the um, outliers are being plotted for us by default. That's great. Um, to just change it up so that you can remember how to do this from the previous one, um, I'm going to clear all these out. Remember, uh, you can double click or drag um, I dragged in order to get the salary. That's our individual one. And then let's let's not do age, but let's do opinion. So these are not these are much less interesting. Um, 
the different opinion levels all look pretty similar relative to salary. Whereas um, when we did um, gen, when we did age, um, there were some distinct differences in salary. Um, and again, one of the nice things about the graph builder option is that you can look at everything before you plot it. Not much going on with gender. What about state differences? You can see some variation across the different states. Um, what about the number of children? Those all look pretty similar. So the one that's actually the most interesting, I guess, is age, because you can see that the young people, again, are making much less uh, salary relative to the other two groups. Okay, so let's say we want to create this. What are some other options? Um, so if you have a lot of outliers that are overlapping each other, you can jitter the outliers. That just means to move them for a little bit from one side to the other. So they're not plotting on top of each other. Uh, we don't have that many outliers, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, you can customize the percentiles in the box plot that you're plotting. So if you wanted to do like the fifth percentile or something like that, uh, confidence interval range, those kinds of values, you can add that information to customize it. Um, this is something you might want to play around with, uh, particularly when you start doing confidence intervals. You can also change the orientation of your box plot. You can do it horizontally or vertically. Um, there's no real difference in interpretation, obviously. Uh, it's just a choice. Uh, and then you can use original units or you can use standardized units. I, For most people, uh, the original units are perfectly fine. Um, standardized units are if you're trying to like look at the spread and not necessarily the exact values. Um, box plots, uh, I generally are, the, the whole point is to look at the exact values. And then when you're happy with it, then go ahead and hit create and as we saw with the previous um, options from the uh, graph builder, you do have to go in and add a title. Comparative box plot of salary by age group. And then you're ready. Great.